Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargames of the Ring. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. What are Let's Build videos? What are they all about? Well, Let's Build video, I take a model kit and I'll show you how to put it together. In the event of a in the event of anything being wrong on the sprue to the instructions, again I give you guys a heads up. If there's anything on the sprue that you need to be careful of when snipping off because it could break, you know, I'll let you know. If there's any part of the piece you're taking off where there's a bit that looks like it shouldn't be there, but it should, again, I give you guys a heads up. If you suffer dyslexia or just struggle with instructions in general, again, there is a way to help you. If you're interested in models for an army you don't collect, or for models that you want to start collecting or that you haven't got for your army yet, again, this is just a visual way to help you. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Now, so you would have seen from the thumbnail, I'm building Deathmark for the Necron army today. So before we go into any sort of details, we're going to go through tools needed as always. So I'm going to start with mold line scraper. Now you can use a hobby knife or some sort of surgical blade. If you're using a sharp tool, just be careful because it's sharp. Let anyone in the house know you're using a sharp tool so nobody scares you by accident. No cats jump up at you or little hands come along. We have clippers, most, most useful part of our kit. I do have sanding, sanding sponge. Yeah, sanding sponge or sanding block. Block is more rigid, the sponge is more flexible. It's basically sponge in the middle, sandpaper either side. So for your ch your um, pipes, your chains, all that sort of stuff, this is brilliant. Or when you put the model together and you go, oh, I've missed the mold line there, you can come in with the sanding sponge. You can find that in the hardware shop, near the sandpaper or the wallpaper, somewhere in between there. There's a plastic kit, so plastic glue. And so everyone that's new, the first thing we do before we start snipping stuff off or look at instructions and all that business is we look at the kit and we can ascertain what's what. Now, this kit, particular kit, you can build the death marks, which is like a snipers with Necrons, or you can build Necron Immortals, which are like battle line troops. And they come armed with the Tesla, the Tesla guns or Tesla cannons, I think they are, or the Gauze Blasters. Now, so when we're looking at this kit, because I've already built the Immortals, I already know most of these guys, most of these bits are not even, don't need to panic about. So like the likes of this, we don't need to panic about. These guys don't need to panic about because this is the, um, the Immortals backpack. Because they see the wire there connects into that side there. But we look at, we're looking for the death mark stuff. So we're talking about these sniper rifles. Yeah. Some of these arms will go onto here, but I'm not sure which one, which numbers are which yet. We have legs, the universal for all. We have the these are the death mark bodies. I think these front pieces go into them, but these death mark bodies. These are for the guns, and then we have the heads. Now, as you can see, there are two sets of heads. These are death mark ones. These are the normal uh, Necron Immortal ones. Okay. So the Death Marks only have one eye. The Necron Immortals have the two heads, two eyes. So I'm going to finish getting set up and then come back to you for the first pieces. Right, so the first thing it's telling me to do is put the bodies together. We're not going to do that. We're, not, we're going to not touch that for a minute. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut all these legs, all these legs off and we're gonna glue spaces, okay? So, so that they're ready to, because you don't wanna put the, the, leg, the body together, then have to wait a few hours because you've glued the legs on. So we're gonna glue all the, snip all these off, clean these down and glue these straight onto the bases ready to go. I don't need to show you that because it's very, very simple. Snip, 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 glue. And the only thing I forgot to say, this particular kit, is from the Imperium magazine, but it's exactly the same as if you bought a box of Immortals or Death Marks. It's exactly the same layout, the same numbers, same everything. And I know this because I put the Immortals together yesterday 
when you see this video, it'll be two days since I built the Immortals. But when I'm starting it now, it's yesterday I built on. So the next piece we need is what he wants you to do is do the bit I'm going to show you now first. But do this first because this is it saves you a lot of messing around later on. So the first one we need is 36. Now all of these body parts are 36 the same. Okay, there's five of them. They're exactly the same. I'll flip them around so you can see them. Okay, now don't get confused between them ones and the immortal ones. Because the immortal ones have like they have the wires coming off the back. It looks like a tail, but it's wires. So I'm going to snip one of those off and show you how it goes on. The other one we need is number three, which is this. Okay, there's four more in the corner there. And then what we need is any one of these front body parts. There's five of them, so we need any one of them. So I'm going to snip one, snip one, snip one. I'm going to show you how one goes together, but you repeat the same thing another four times after that, okay? Now this is very, very straightforward. So there is a square pin there. There's a square square peg there. That slots into there. You can see that little, that little bit of the, of the spine goes in the hole there. Okay. So that goes onto there. And then this just slots on over the front like that. He's actually telling me to do this part first and then put this in the back. Okay, so I'm going to glue that together and then I'm going to do the other four and then come back to you for the next pieces. Right, so the next bit is the, the bit that's going to be the most tedious. We need the number 40, which is the sniper rifle. We need number 41, which is up in this corner here. Okay, it's the arm. And then we need the most annoying piece, which I think is going to be the most annoying piece. Is 42 which is one of these now there's five of them they're all numbered the same yeah so i'm going to snip each one of those i'm going to snip one of those off snip the rifle off and the arm i'm going to show you how the little pipe goes onto the rifle and then how it goes into the body right so this is, seems a little bit easier at first glance than my fault there's two holes there okay and this Little things would be more difficult to pick up than anything. That, do you know, I'm going to put some glue on it. So once I get it into place, it'll stay in place. Let's bring it up and show you closely. So you can see where I put the glue. And this just slots in sort of like that. I don't think this side's on properly. It's meant to be something like that. It does, still doesn't look right. That's where my mold line scraper comes in. So what I do is give that a little nudge up. That looks better. This side's off now. Such a small connection point, you'd be you'd be forgiven if you don't bother with it. This is so annoying. Get off. Just get off. I'm not gonna bother. But it does go in those two little holes. It's so annoying to put in. It's stuck to me now. So what we do next is this glues in here and in this side this little ball joint glues in that side and there is actually a little hand here that goes that glues in to the hand there okay so I'm going to glue that into place for this first one there isn't there isn't any um, thing in there stat line to say this is the sergeant of the unit 
but this what I'm building here is the first one. The others are the same, but there's different numbers on them. So I'm going to put this one on together and then come back to you with the, the next one, the next guys. Right, so the next thing we need is the other four sniper rifles. Number 38, there's three of them. There's one, two, next to the sniper rifles. And then on the other sprue, there's one here. Oh, wait. There's one here in the middle. And then number 39 is the other one we need is here. Okay. Now, 38 and f oh, f the, the three of them that are 38 or the one of them that's 39 can go with any sniper rifle. Okay, so you don't have to mix and match anything, but it goes on the same way as this annoying chap. Again, if you want to put all the little um, pipe things on, they're here. I'm not going to bother. Now, I could use tweezers to do it. Now, I do have tweezers here somewhere. The problem is, I use them for something. I put them down, and then I forget where I put them. And then when I need them, I can't find them. So instead of losing an hour or two looking around and still can't find them, I'm just going to ignore that piece. It's not a big issue. Right, I'm going to slip those off, clean them down, glue them on to each one, because they are, they are a pain in the backside, as you see with this one. And then I'll come back to my next pieces. Right, after filling it around with these guns, I actually figured out an easy way of doing it. I just so annoyed myself I didn't catch it on camera. Glue this side in first. Okay, leave that for a few minutes so the glue is sort of not dry, but it's, it's enough to hold it in place. And then put a bit of glue on the end here. Glue in this uh, shoulder pad. And then just line it up. Now, as you can see, they're slightly off. But I give it a few minutes. And then I can just manoeuvre it slightly. So it's in place. And now it's going to stay. It's annoying. Annoying for me because I should have should have thought that in the first place and annoying because I didn't put it on camera. Right, so the next thing that's needed is to glue these onto the body. So I glued the body onto the legs. So there's a big divot there, there's a bolt there, it does this glue in. Okay. Now you might need to when I did the immortals off camera, I glued them on and they kept trying to turn. So I just put them on there. Let them turn a little bit. The ball will hold them. I went through all of them. And then went back to the first one. And just manoeuvred it slightly. Because the glue was starting to get uh, gooey. I then took some paint pots. And I positioned the paint pot. To hold it in place. But we're not going to do that straight away. Because that's going to take a little while to dry. So what we're going to do next. After I finish knocking everything over. We are going to take the death mark heads. Okay, there's these ones here with the one eye. They are number two, all number two. Doesn't matter what head goes on what. So I'm going to snip one off, clean it down. I'm going to show you how it goes on. You know, it's very self-explanatory, but I'm going to show you how one goes on. I'm going to glue the rest on, and then I'm going to glue them all onto their, their bases, onto their legs. Right, so I put a bit of glue at the front here. You see the shiny bit at the back, I put a little bit there. Basically, this piece that goes through the back, there's a little point on the end of it. It's meant to glue into that as well. So I take the head, push it into place, and there we have one death mark head. Now, the instructions will tell you to put the head on afterwards, but it's a, it's a load of silliness because when you put this on, it will st it'll try and turn. And like I said, with the immortals, I'd, all I did there was keep, was keep just pushing it around until the glue was held in place got a paint pot if I needed it, you know, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to glue the rest of the heads on and then glue them onto their legs and then come back and give my final thoughts. Right, <clears throat> so I had to use paint, paint pots to prop all of them because they were turning too much, trying to fall too much. So that's very straightforward. Use whatever tool is necessary for you. You know, even if you had a piece of sanding sponge and you piled them up to make a platform to, to lean the gun onto to hold them into place, that's basically what I've done. As you can see, the gun is resting on the pots. 
that holds them into place. Now, these guys are absolutely like amazing models. Okay. I would give them a difficulty rating of a four. The reason I'd give them a difficulty rating of a four is, this, there's a few reasons. The first one is the way the instructions are laid out. Okay, so when you have the body built with the gun, you're supposed to put the leg, glued legs to the base then and then glue the body to the, to the legs and then glue head on afterwards. As I've shown you in this video, do the legs first to the base. This makes things a hell of a lot easier for you. Because you imagine trying to trying to prop trying to prop this guy up on the legs, but the legs are trying to move as well. It's just too much of a headache. So do the legs first. Before you glue the weapon arms on, you should glue the head into him. That is what you should do. Because a few of them, I got the heads in, but a few of them were just a little bit difficult angle. The way that the gunners had held together, it sort of blocked the head a little bit. Um, this one down here, for example, looks like he's the and this one as well, so this one more so. He's got two little balls on top, which is used for targeting. The eye is near close to that. So put the, when you glue the body together, glue the head in first, glue the legs to the base, and then glue the arms in. Now, when you glue the arms in, like I said, said to you a little while ago, you glue this side in first, and then leave a few minutes, then glue that arm on. So different enough four, I think, is acceptable for these guys. There's also on the spare on the arm that holds the gun not the not the arm with the gun on it but the other gun that's, the other arm that supports the gun there's some horrible mold lines there's a few of them that i need to go back over before i undercoat them with the sanding sponge because I, I found them afterwards and i was like damn but you know that happens it's a difficult rain of a four i'd say now if you've seen this for the first time guys hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing and helps the channel grow in a massive, massive way. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to share this video with more and more people, which makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. Any comments or anything about these particular guys, chuck them below as always. Until next time, guys, hit the buttons for me. Thanks for watching.